Dr. Chow, we, we all want to hear the good news. We all want to deliver the good news of Ryan Chazier. Uh, it's my suspicion that uh, the fact that we haven't heard more about Ryan Chazier is that there isn't good news to give. Well, the hope is the family and Chazier are respecting and requesting privacy and that everyone's just giving it to them and that there really is good news. That's what we all hope for. But medically, the majority recovery happens quickly in the first 24 or 48 hours. That's your quote, home run situation. And with reports saying that he's quote, improving, but gradually that continues to, to add worry. Okay, so he was hurt uh, last Monday. Steelers were playing the Bengals. There was at least some temporary paralysis. Uh, and you're saying that 24, 48 hours is generally when these the uh, spinal cord injuries, that there is the most improvement. We're past that. We've seen some videos, some pictures, and clearly his, uh, his legs are not moving, his upper body. But they could just be doing that precautionary? Well, in some of the videos that he has put out, you know, he's sitting pseudo upright. And of course, you don't expect him to be kicking his legs around, et cetera, but, so it's understandable he's not moving. But the way he's positioned and the way that they're in one video, there's a strap across his chest, it just makes me worried that he doesn't have all of the motor function. And I hope that means not yet. Okay. But right now, before we even broach the subject of football, we need to broach the subject that he's going to be okay for his life and for walking. Okay. And let's get through that hur hurdle first. So you said yet, and I know that throughout this whole process as we have worked together to put out our stuff on profootballdoc.com, it has been with uh, sensitivity and with the desire to give good news. Yet, I'm gonna hold on to that for a second and say, you're, it's possible, you're not saying permanent paralysis. It's possible for there still to be improvement to come. Uh, we've agreed in this process to, to go by 95%. We know looking at video can never be 100%. I mean, you need to examine a guy, look at an MRI to, to get to the 99 plus percent mark. We're happy with 95%. When, before we deliver bad news like some sort of permanence or spinal cord, you really need to be at 100%. And so I just don't wanna go there until we get there, so leave some hope. You're always holding on. Whether it's an ACL and ankle, you're holding on to that 5%. I've never seen a guy want to be wrong as much as you, and certainly in this case. ProFootballDoc.com.